Hi, it's Lisa Sweeney here from Business in Heels and Joe and I thought it was time that you got to meet the women behind Business in Heels and hear a little bit about our journey of where we're heading to. So I first met Lisa in 1990 when we started together as trainers. So Joe and I met about 25 years ago. We started in the Target buying office together on her first day. Can you believe it? And traveling the world and having lots and lots of fun. But when I first met Lisa, I can remember that I had a very silly looking red skirt suit on, which people now <laughs> t tell me after the fact that uh, I look very much like an Avis lady ad. And Lisa had a pair of black court shoes, which were very sensible, but they were slightly peeling at the heels, which at the time told me more about her hard graft ethic than particularly her fashion sense. And I might say, as you can see, that that has changed. That has changed quite a lot since that time. You know, we've seen each other through thick and thin and we were able to go on our first overseas trip together which was very funny. They sent us to America and suddenly there we were driving in a car on the other side of the road, trying to navigate our way around and find shopping centres. But some of the things I really remember well, um, you know, particularly in our first buying trip, was going down to the USA and we were rollerblading on Venice. And we did all sorts of glamorous things as you would expect. At some point we were down in Santa Monica rubbing shoulders with the rich and famous and yeah. feeling just a little bit out of our comfort zone because people were rollerblading around. They had these, you know, G-strings and all sorts of things going on, which neither one of us was kind of comfortable to wear. Um, and there was a time where Lisa did go splat. Yeah. Um, and that did create a bit of an audience between us, but um, it, was, it was a whole lot of fun. <laughs> Maybe it's a new way to pick up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I introduced Jo to her first Maduri Sour. Go figure. And now, well... She's never looked back, has she? We've also got this great family friendships and she loves red and I like pink. And so it seemed only natural when the opportunity came up for Business and Heels that we would do it together. Well, Business and Heels International is really about women helping women. Uh, it's about energising, inspiring, giving people confidence to do what they want to do in life really. And I think it's, it's for us it's about connecting women with opportunities and, and opportunities come in so many different sizes and shapes mm. and you often don't know what you're going to end up with. So, you know, sometimes it's people, sometimes it might be systems, knowledge, education, you name it. Um, and with a, con you know, a connection base of over 70,000 odd people and 40 branch directors on the ground, whatever you need, we can pretty much dip in and find someone that can help you. Mm, and we want to take, you know, some of the loneliness out of decision making. You know, quite often being your own, your own boss or actually being a CEO is quite a lonely business. And so being able to surround yourself with like-minded people that you can ask for advice is really valuable. You know, not trying to do it all yourself. Mm. And far too many women think that because they are in charge, they have to learn everything. And, you know, it's outsourcing stuff is a really good strategy mm -hmm. you know try not trying to do it all yourself i love outsourcing yeah exactly and <laughs> so you know we certainly encourage people to you know utilize all the connections around them it's a great opportunity i think the thing that holds most women back um in business from the people that i've seen is the ability to to think big and you know, they're very focused on what they should do as opposed to what they can do and having the confidence and the resources to go out there and, and get what, what they would like to achieve. I think it's confidence, the confidence to have a go, the confidence to start, the confidence to challenge the boundary. If you're going to build a big, amazing business, you've got to have other people on board with you and it's got to be more than just you. I think it's about getting comfortable and, and feeling that it's okay not to be perfect in, in everything that you do. And if you find networking or meeting people a difficult thing, then that's something that you've got to grab a hold of and find find somebody that you can actually work with and, and go along with, get a, get a good wing woman um, by your side um, and have some fun with it. And, you know, celebrate your failures and your successes. There's not too much that goes wrong that you can't fix. And so just get out there, say yes and have a go. So, you know, having a go is a big part of it. So having the courage to try new and different things and surround yourself with those people that inspire you. You know, you don't want to be surrounded by the naysayers. You actually want to be 
inspired by people or surround yourself with people who are pushing the boundaries for you and actually encouraging you to try new and different things. The computer says no. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, go and try something different today.